Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about impact. This is where all the magic happens. This is where hopefully whatever you've done beforehand all comes together at speed, at impact, and we can send that ball in the direction of our target. Super, super important. We need to be able to move properly, follow along with the instructions. This is the real, the real key. This is where a lot of players get things wrong, but if you can work really hard on this, get these right feels, you are gonna be able to smash that ball as hard as you like, keeping everything as stable as possible. So follow along closely, do the rehearsal drills, and you'll, when you get back out there on the driving range, hopefully everything is gonna to come together and you're gonna send that ball out there. Okay, now we're gonna move into the nitty gritty of it. This is what it's all about, impact. Okay, a lot of players that I teach don't actually know where impact should be. So they know that they're set up pretty much in a decent position, but they always think impact's the same position you started in. No, impact is all about moving towards the target. So we need to train our hands to create a strong position. A bit like we did in the, in the takeaway move, we know we're doing this, we've got that door jam striking so we know we've got to be firm with it at impact but what we're looking for at impact is the hands to be ahead of the club head okay hands have got to be here this creates some shaft lean okay so if you notice i've done this the club face hasn't it's not like i've done this and shoved the elbow up and the knuckles upwards I've gone this way. So I basically, in a sense, essentially I've de-lofted the club. I don't want it that far forward. I'm just over-exaggerating this feel, but it's this pushing. That's the position we want to be in. But now obviously we're going to go, well, my hands are over here, my arms are over here. My body's still back here. So how do we marry these two up? So this is where the thrusting comes into it. So we've got to fire everything towards the target. We know we're keeping our head central, because that's the only way we can get that strike. But we've also got to create this shaft lean, which one, de the club so you'll hit it further. And two, as long as you've moved your body correctly, you'll hit ball first, then maybe a little bit of turf, and it will send it out with the right amount of energy. We want to eliminate all these fats, fat shots. Thins, not too bad. It's the heavy ones that really kill your golf swing. So let's train this, okay? So what we can do, we're firing the hips this way towards the target, okay? So it's a driving of the hips across through the feet. Basically everything works through the feet. So you're kicking your ankles across. That moves your shins and your knees. Hips are now starting to rotate out the way as this right glute starts to fire towards the target and the hands are pushing in so we can now go from here we can then extend through so let's have a few of these so fire and push if we look at it down the line you'll see here here's impact everything we know is is neutral lines if i push and fire what you'll suddenly see, you'll be able to see my left glute a bit more as my hips have cleared out the way. Hands are pushing through and fire down your target line. Okay, there's your action. These are tightening. You've got to fire the glutes as in really engage them because that's going to protect your lower back. So wind and fire. All right. If you think about it as a, in another, another way, I've got a basket here. So imagine this was filled with sand or water. All right, and basically what we're trying to do is send this, throw this water, sand as far out there as we can. We're not gonna just do it by throwing your arms because it's gonna go upwards, okay? We don't wanna be tipping it out and losing it. So we're here, let's send it out there, okay? You've all got this move, you can probably do it probably grabbed a bucket of water and thrown it out the back door. But if you don't move your body with it, it's not gonna go very far. Add some thrust and fire, and it's gonna send it out there further. 
So once we've uh, got that little sensation, give myself a bit of room. So we're indoors, we can use our paper ball. We don't need to be worried about, if you use paper, scrolled up bit of paper, it's not gonna do any damage to anything. You could use plastic balls if you've got a garden big enough. I wouldn't ping those around the house too much unless you've cleared everything of ornaments because they still create some speed. Even a ball of paper will. So we're gonna, all we're working on is this post impact position. I'll do it this way first. So I'm sending it, trying to create these feels. That's the impact position and fire through. I'm not gonna go any further than waist high. All right. If you find that you're flipping the club up here, chances are it's because you've thrown club head at ball and not held this angle and fired it through. So. Good posture, good setup. Small little backswing, just sort of take away position. Fire. Okay, hold the position, check it. Are you completely balanced? All right. Let's look at one down the line now. So set up. Nice and strong, small backswing. Fire. Well, I was a bit off balance on that one. And all of these things, you're getting feedback from it. Even if you actually take this onto the driving range of the golf course, this actually is a shot. This is a, how do I hit it low under the trees sort of thing. So we don't change it by, don't need to put it back in your stance more. You can just uh, make these smaller swings. There we go, that's much better balance there. Check my positions, my hips are really cleared. I'm firing my glutes, holding the club down the target line there. So really good one to, to work on. So let's look at a few other tips that we can give you to help get that feel. Okay, so another feel for this impact position and how the body is thrusting. So again, we're gonna go back to our wall. Again, gently, just, just a little light bit of pressure on there. Don't need a club. We can have our hands down in front of us. And what we're trying to feel now, as we go through, as long as you've we're trying to maintain this spine angle off, out, out and through impact. So when you come firing through here, okay, I've, I've got more pressure now on the wall with my left glute, okay? You can probably see that there. I'm still looking down, arms are out extended in front of me, okay? So it's this position here we're looking at as we're on the wall. So backed up, good posture. Fire. Don't even know if you need to worry about a backswing. Or well, you could do add the backswing. It's a little bit right glute on the wall. Fire it across onto your left glute. Okay, just keep keep doing these. It's all a feeling. The more you do it, the more it will become natural. Let's take a look from the other side. Okay, so we're now in a corner, and what we're trying to do, we're going to wedge ourselves up here, get a, a little bit of room here. But I want you to just see how much movement at this lower half. So we're going to keep the head centered, but follow through is a firing, firing those legs across. You can see my, my thigh here is now pretty much touching the wall, and yet my head stayed pretty darn central, getting this real push off and drive. So we've struck the ball, firing through. Can't go any further than this, obviously. So bang, that's your feel. If I flip the other way, you can get the feel here with your head resting against the wall. Again, don't worry about a, a backswing, but it's the firing and firing of those glutes underneath, firing up whilst keeping your head on the wall. A lot of players where they struggle with their striking is they lose this spine angle. So early extension, where you, this is where they're either going to struggle with their strike or the direction. A lot of shanks come from this position. So if you early extend, so that means you've fired your hips towards the ball rather than towards the target, the club's got nowhere to go apart from away from you. That's where the, the sun strike goes from center towards the shaft end. So that's obviously what we don't want to do. So we're trying to, and then if you do, even if you do strike it, chances are, especially with the driver, it's right going right. 
So the more you can stay down on the shot, okay, maintaining that spine angle, maintain that head position and fire through. And then we'll talk about the completion of the follow through in another video. But this is all just pure, pure impact position. Train it, make it become more natural. Okay, do it without a golf ball until you learn the positions and then we can bring club and ball into it.